In this video, we're going to look at rotational symmetry. What is rotational symmetry and how is it different from normal symmetry? In normal symmetry, you may have seen that it's just how many times can you place a mirror on the shape and both sides of the shape look exactly the same. For example, in a square, it would have uh, four lines of symmetry. You could cut it vertically, horizontally, and diagonally twice. But this is rotational symmetry. It's a bit different. It's still symmetry in the sense that we're looking at the same thing, the same shape. Uh, in uh, lines of symmetry, it was the same shape reflected. This time, rotational symmetry is the same shape rotated. What on earth am I talking about? Well, let's select that square so we can do a little bit of an experiment. Here's the square again, and if you watch, I'm going to start rotating it in a big circle. Rotational symmetry counts how many times the shape fits back into its, its original position after you turn it in a full 360 degree circle. If it helps, think of it as a key fitting into a lock. How many times would that key fit back into the same lock if you span it through a circle. Okay, after 90 degrees, that square fits exactly back into the lock, so that's once. After 180 degrees, it fits back in again, so that's twice. 270, it fits back in three times, and finally 360, right at the end, it fits back in a fourth time. How would we talk about that? In maths, for rotational symmetry, we talk about the order of rotational symmetry. Symmetry. And for a square, we've just seen it has an order of 4. Might as well put it inside the square. Let's look at some other shapes, though. And to be honest, with rotational symmetry, it's really a case of practice makes perfect. After a while, your eye can kind of just tell what the uh, order of rotational symmetry is going to be. You can kind of mentally flip the shape around and see how many times it's going to fit back in. But let's practice a few more times. Here we have, hopefully, a an equilateral triangle. There we are. How many times would you guess that's going to fit back in to its original position? In other words, what's the order of rotational symmetry for that shape? If you guess 3, you can give yourself a, a star, because if you imagine that shape when it's flipped so that this side is the base, that would be 1, then flipped so that this side is the base, that's 2, and then this side is the base, would be 3 times. So it would fit back into the lock, if you will, 3 times. Let's try out some more funky shapes. How about this dude? He is called Mr. Pentagon. How many times would you guess, just visually looking at it, how many times would it fit back into that original lock? The answer would be five. It has five different positions where it would look exactly the same. Again, if this was the base, it would look the same. If this side was the base, it would look the same. Same for this side, this side, and this side. We're going to get a little bit harder now. How about this arrow here? What is that arrow's order of rotational symmetry? Two, perhaps? Because it has at least one line of symmetry. Actually, it will be only one. Just to show you why, if I flipped this arrow 90 degrees, let's do a little friend to the arrow and start flipping it, it definitely doesn't fit into the lock. What about 180 degrees? That's when most of them fit inside the lock. No, that wouldn't fit inside the lock. And 270, and then 360. Okay, well 360 worked, so that's once. If you kind of remember that all shapes will have at least an order of one, for its rotational symmetry. 
this shape has just one. And let's change it to blue. There we are. How about a star? A star like so. That would have, you guessed it, six. It would have an order of six for its rotational symmetry. It has six points to its star. So if each of those points were the new top of the star, you can imagine it would look exactly the same. So we can label that six. And finally, let's do a really cool shape. How about a heart, a purple heart? Having a look at that shape, and again, imagining it like a key, how many times would it fit back into the lock? What's its order of rotational symmetry? Actually, for that heart, it would only fit back in once, and that's if you span it all the way 360 degrees. I guess you could say it's a little philosophical that a heart can fit only once.